Hi friends, this is NJ, your host on this channel. So we are going to start our discussion on a very new series, which is on the fingerprints. You know, this is just going to be an introductory video. In the subsequent videos, we are going to discuss all aspects and all verticals and all variation of the fingerprints. Now, when I say this uh, concept is very important, what makes me say that? You know, you have to understand that we have already reached so far on our syllabus of palmistry you have already discussed the chirognomy chirognomy is one vertical of the palmistry which tells about the study of the structure of the hand basis the shape of the hand whether the hand is large whether the hand is small fingers are long you know palm is square or oblong you will get to know about the basic instincts basic personality traits of an individual which is the chirognomy then comes another vertical of the palmistry which is the study of the markings and lines of the hand which is known as the chiromancy which is mainly used for the you know uh, fortune telling for determining past present and future of someone now comes the most important vertical which is the fingerprints you know this concept is important because it takes you to the core of someone's personality you know all these lines marked on our palm are subjected to change with the change in our attitude change in our thoughts change in our lifestyle but these fingerprints are your unique identity in this life they are these fingerprints you know they get formed by the 18 weeks of four months in the womb and they remain permanent throughout the life that is the only reason why you know these fingerprints are also used for the crime detection and the study of the fingerprints comes in the in domain of one term which you guys have to understand and remember dermatographics you know the best part is as this these fingerprints are unique in each and everyone's hand same so is this word the best part about this word is not even a single uh, you know alphabet on this whole word gets repeated each and every uh, alphabet is unique and you know will is not getting repeated so now comes the uh, you know the aspect of you know studying its significance so it's important because you know like the way it happens as astrology the placement of the planet in the chart just give you little bit information about someone's personality so you have understood you have seen someone's chart you got to know that jupiter is placed in the 10th house you'll get to know that okay this is this going to be the signification then to dig deep into that person's life you have to check in which rashi the zodiac sign that planet is setting that's that will give you a little bit more clarity then comes another uh, you know um, going more deep into it then when we will we'll get to know about in which nakshatra because in uh, behind every zodiac sign there are three nakshatras which are infusing their energies so if you will get to know in which uh, nakshatra uh, inside that zodiac sign the planet is setting then you'll get more clarity about it same is the way same is the case which gets applied on the fingerprints as well you have got to know that okay the headline is little bit curved down that the person is little bit you know uh, uh, imaginative little bit emotional sentimental you have also got to know that the fingers are conic so conic fingers like the way when we were discussing the chirognomy the vertical and where we discussed all the other shapes of the fingers we get to know that conic you know uh, conic fingers people remain to be very imaginative very artistic but when it comes to you know landing to final prediction final conclusion you even have to give you know emphasize to the uh, fingerprint patterns marked on the fingers that will give you more clarity because these fingerprints are going to tell you that how an individual is going to you know his approach and his attitude towards the signification of different fingers and the mounts so as you people know that this is your index finger this is the finger of the leader this is the middle finger this is the finger of a scholar this is the finger of an artist this is the finger of a businessman of a communicator now what kind of you know businessman will you become what kind of leader you would become whether you'll be you know people's leader whether you'll be you know a very dictator whether what kind of artist you will become whether you will be more concerned with the money monetary thing or whether you'll be more concerned about creating some good work same goes with the scholarly qualities as well as this uh, you know middle finger also tells about melancholy and you know depressive tendencies so whether you will go deep into that or you will be remain at guard basis your innate personality traits you know some traits which you are born with that we get to know by the study of the fingerprints so if you want to master the science of palmistry gaining a mastery on the uh, uh, you know vertical of and the subject of fingerprints is very important so we have already discussed the significance and you also have to understand that this fingerprints the study of the fingerprints also give you vital information about the heredity you know the student of the dermatographics also believe that whenever they remain to be any problem in the environment you know environmental influences in the growth of the child in the womb not only the the child 
is born with kind of you know some kind of congenital diseases you know mental disorders and all those kind of problems but also the that child is born with some abnormal print patterns so all that we are going to discuss in the subsequent videos so come we have already discussed the significance now comes the types so what all are the types of the fingerprints which can be found in someone's hand so broadly majorly there are three types of fingerprint patterns which you'll find in anyone's hand the first remain to be the loop loop is going to be something like this you know, something like this something like this this is loop then comes the second which is wall wall is something like this you'll find it something like this then comes the third which is the arch arch is something like this so is that it no that is not because we are just i'm just going to even in the following videos i'm even going to show you the real pictures of these prints which will give you more clarity and even the distinguishing traits because when it comes to these fingerprints at the time when I was doing my course on palmistry, even I used to be very much confused. This is the only concept which has confused me. Apart from that, all other, you know, all other topics, be it headline, heartline, study of the hand, structure of the hand, I grasped it on a very first go. But it's just because it, it, you know, it becomes very difficult when it comes to these fingerprint patterns on board. It, it, uh, it might look you easy, but when it comes to ch uh, checking, uh, you know real time in people's hand you'll find difficulty you'll find it uh, you know little bit cumbersome so i'm just going to tell you that the first thing is when it comes to the you know the personality traits and the signification of these three types the first is when it comes to loop the only thing which loop tells you about is that the loop person is going to remain very versatile very adaptable very friendly so loop in a nutshell tells about someone being very friendly then comes the world world tells about someone who's very individualistic you know someone who's very assertive for this person who has got world kind of fingerprint for this person individuality leadership qualities all those signification matters a lot then comes the third type which is the arch arch is arch people tend to remain you know very uh, very practical very hard working and very grounded so you know when we will discuss all these types individually there are further more subcategories to it as loop you will also find you know loop to be in uh, in a ulna loop kind of formation you will find it in a radial loop kind of formation you will also find in a composite loop kind of formation so all that we are going to discuss in detail at the time and we will taking and discussing all these types individually and in detail so next comes is the checklist the um, parameters on which these you know fingerprints get judged so the parameter is that the first thing is that you need to look at the tri ready the tri radius which is very important which is just going to act as a you know kind of tool to distinguish between these two fingerprints because on the hand real time looking on the fingertips you will not be able to judge whether this print pattern is uh, loop kind arch type wall type or it is a mixed type so if you are able to check this priority on the pattern print pattern you will be able to distinguish it because the rule is the uh, loop uh, uh, print pattern has got one form of uh, it will always have one priority this is the eligibility for a fingerprint pattern to be of loop formation it will have it should have one priority with the wall pattern it should have two tri readies and when it comes to arch it doesn't have any tri ready so the rule and the funda is very simple if the print pattern had got one tri ready it is loop if the print pattern has got two tri ready no matter even if it is looking like a loop but it is a wall and if the if the print pattern doesn't have any tri ready it means it is of an arch type now comes the question of you know what is tri ready you know tri ready is a kind of you know triangular kind of pattern which gets formed by the intersecting ridge patterns so let's say for example if this is your wall kind of formation so something like of this kind of pattern of a triangle shape will be getting formed on its two side of the edges so this is just going to confirm that this is a wall pattern because it has got two tri ready and like the way I told you, a loop has got subcategories, same way the wall also has got subcategories. There is a concentric wall, there is a spiral wall that all we'll discuss at the time of discussing these uh, print patterns individually. Next comes after the first checklist which we have discussed about the tri-ready. The second is 
the mix and match fingerprints you know the same funda gets applied over here as well you even uh, come across all those people and all those cases in whose hand the fingerprint pattern would remain to be same in all the fingers so in that case that person would be an extreme type of that particular print pattern of the arch type qualities of that print pattern so let's say for example if you'll find in all the 10 uh, all the fingers even the thumb uh, the whole kind of the whole kind of pattern so that person would remain to be very individualistic that person would remain to be very assertive and an extreme version of the signification being represented by the whole so that would remain to be you know a very rare case it is like on rarely on a 10 percent kind of the uh, for me uh, 10 percentage of the people of the whole world you'll find the same kind of print pattern on all the fingers apart from that this uh, figure varies and like the way I have already cleared you the only way to look at is that whichsoever print pattern will be found in whichsoever finger the person would approach you know uh, his attitude and his approach towards the signification of those finger those mount would remain to be have a tinge of the print pattern which is there like that because I already told you this print pattern remains constant they are the permanent they remain constant throughout the life so a person with let's say for example this is a middle finger associated plant Saturn with all there are the presence of negative signs on the middle finger same goes with the mount of the Saturn but only because if this finger would carry the print pattern of you know loop loop just makes someone adaptable friendly so they remain to be a little bit of the hope that the person would not get too deep down into depression or melancholiness so that is the kind of significance which these print patterns hold so you have to individually uh, see the print pattern and last you even have to check when it comes to the fingers that whether both the fingers let's say for example index finger of both the hand is carrying the same print pattern or it, it is getting varied why it is important because the same concept the active hand tells about your predominant behavior your behavior in the outside world and when it comes to a passive hand it just tells about your subconscious instincts so this is what you will get to know by the study of the fingerprint patterns and this would remain to be the checklist so this was just an introductory video where i just give you guys a little bit of the clue of the fingerprint patterns in the subsequent videos in the subsequent videos we are going to discuss all the verticals of uh, fingerprint uh, uh, patterns the variations in detail so for furthermore updates and notification palmistry please subscribe my channel and like my facebook page thanks